I talk and I talk, but guess what? I back it up. They know who's running the game, so any chance they get, they mention my name. The whole roster wants a piece. And the whole roster will get a piece. Introducing the notorious one! division world champion i'm gonna go and i'm gonna get them two belts take out two divisions if anyone can do it it's me you're blessed that i chose you you're blessed that i chose to whoop your ass next Most people believe Conor McGregor's next fight will be in defense of his lightweight title, but against whom? That's the question. He's got 10 wins in a row. He's the obvious choice for the next challenger. For Conor McGregor versus Tony Ferguson. That's the most relevant. Conor McGregor, Tony Ferguson, let's unify these belts and give the fans the fight they want to see. And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, this is an outstanding kickboxer making his way to the UFC octagon right now. Very interesting stylistic matchup here tonight. Just an outstanding arsenal of kicks. Great punching technique. Power in both hands. Works the lead leg. Not afraid to work the body. Just a complete kickboxer here. Now plying his trade in mixed martial arts. A dangerous proposition for anyone caught in his striking range. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do here is avoid grappling exchanges, utilize his outstanding striking skills, and keep this fight from becoming a ground fight. Well, he got a late start in mixed martial arts, but he certainly made up for lost time. Here is the two-time UFC welterweight title challenger, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. His father, Ray, has been in his corner since day one. This is an affable guy, no denying how likable Stephen Wonderboy Thompson is. One of the best pure strikers to ever step foot inside the octagon. South Carolina's finest, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. This guy is a great striker. What he wants to do is land hard and early, get the respect of his opponent, and avoid any grappling exchanges. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Thompson is seven years his senior. He is two inches taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. The Apex. And now he goes his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 3 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at a Simpsonville, South Carolina. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready to fight? Ready. And we are underway. 
So here's the UFC welterweight champion, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Win over Tyron Woodley gave him the belt for the first time at UFC 209. Now he tries to defend it, and the grapplers and the wrestlers figure to keep on coming. No shortage of challenges now for the champion Wonderboy at 170 pounds. And he connects there, Joe. All right, first round is underway. You better watch out for the overhands. They will come early. They will come often here tonight. And even when you do your homework, it doesn't mean you can stop it. We'll see if he can get off to a good start here tonight. Landed that one. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Thompson. And both guys really throwing with authority. Wonderboy gets tagged by the kick there. He couldn't have liked that too much, Joe. Just over three minutes to go on our first round. Effective punch there by Thompson. Oh, he missed that kick. Again, working off of that jab. Once again, establishing the jab here. Wonderboy gets caught with that punch. Almost hits him with that left hook. Just misses with the jab there. Under two minutes now to go. And he eats a kick. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Slightly deflected. So his opponent lands that kick to the body, Joe, and he has shown an increased susceptibility to that strike here tonight. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. And he eats a right hand there. That one hurt. Lanza, glancing right hand upstairs. Oh! Five oh. minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action from that round. Here's a big leg kick. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. Here we see an excellent kick connects flush with perfect timing. Excellent striking on display in that round. The lovely Brittany Palmer is with us. show you the total strikes well the offense has been there he is landing some good shots but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent he's got to mix up his strikes change his tempo a little bit and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time oh nice Three minutes and change to go in round two. Body kick now by Wonderboy Thompson. Uh, 
Constantly a moving target. Yeah, oh. looks a little wobbly on his feet. This could be it right here. Oh, he might be out. Look at this. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, crippling uppercut. Oh! 90 seconds remain in the round. Working off the jab, it's good. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body, and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection moving forward. Misses a huge hook to the head. Seconds to go in the round. 20 seconds now remain in the round. And lands a good shot. And the horn sounds on round two. And here's a nice kick to the body that lands. And here's another kick to the body. And here's one more perfectly placed kick to the body. Very impressive nice. striking that going on in that round. Good round. He's rocked. He's still all right. He's ready to be finished in this match. All right. Yeah. The original Ariane Celeste. Good to have her in the building as usual. was in big trouble at the end of that round. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Damaging strike there. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. How about that chin? Thompson gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, he brought that offense, Joe. Nice straight right hand. He's got good accuracy on that jab. That one hurt. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, tagged him. Oh, man, look at him now. Oh, he has mastered this distance control tonight. Another punch lands. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Snapping off that jab. Nice combination of strikes there by Thompson. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. That was a nice jab. Wonder Boy gets caught with that punch. Yeah, missed on that one, Joe. Tagged him. Hand speed, man. Wonder Boy gets tagged with a kick now. 
Let's see if he can rally. Clipped him with the jab. Five seconds wow. remain in the round. Whoa! He's hurt. He's hurt. Thirty seconds to go. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. And there he swung with a haymaker. Big straight punch. Beautiful. What a fight we got going on here. All right, we await the judges' scorecards now as this one goes the distance. Should have a clear winner here, Joe. You never know how the judges see it, but there was one mostly dominant fighter here tonight, and he should be looking at a unanimous decision nod and a big UFC win here in this one. And again, here in round two, beautiful technique here. Times that strike perfectly. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30 27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. All right, congratulations to Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. And you can be sure this one feels sweet for everyone back home in Simpsonville, South Carolina. Not sure, but maybe this win and the nature of it is enough to get Wonderboy another crack at that welterweight title that has eluded him for the last several years.